like to talk to you about developments in engineering and design to significantly reduce operator exposure to chemicals, residue in the system, and within the treating machines, as well as for the maintenance and service personnel that are required to work on these systems. The technology we will be referencing for this presentation will be continuous batch treating systems where the product is pre-weighed, treated with chemical or chemicals, and in some cases, powder applications, and then discharged after homogeneous mixing. The continuous batch treater system design has been around since the 1980s and has proven to be the most accurate with a known weight of seed, followed by dosing a known amount of chemical with the pump and powder feeder technology. Safety of employees is the main concern of all companies, and with that motivation, design improvements have been developed with both equipment suppliers and end users partnering and designing together. At the start, systems were very manual for raw chemical mixing, batch treating for specialty seed, and testing purposes, exposing workers to chemicals, dust, and fumes. Development is being driven where the main raw chemical supply is introduced from bulk tanks into the systems, and it is a closed system to the finished packaged product. The first step toward this closed system is introduction of the chemicals into the system, one of the few manual steps in the process. Most chemical treatments will arrive in containers with keg type fittings. Any small micro ingredients can be custom added, we will discuss later in this presentation. With these keg type systems, a dry lock unit is set up with braided reinforced hosing to establish the link between the bulk container and the enclosed piping system. A dry lock system provides a spill-free design and a dual handle design with cam levers to avoid accidental disconnection. The number of chemical treatments is only limited by design criteria and plant space. With this self-enclosed system, we have multiple options depending on the plant layout and treatment objectives. Some of these options are direct injection into the batch treater, transfer into a mixing tank where it can be combined with other chemicals via other chemical containers or manual addition with proper worker PPE, transfer to a work tank for storage holding until batch treater requires product, which allows you to change out your bulk tanks without pausing the treating process. A traditional system of hosing sleeved with protective PVC pipe in case of chemical leakage can be used if designed properly. However, there's been more of a push to use stainless steel piping for safety and avoiding plant leakage incidents. Incorporated in this piping de design is also automatic valving for mixing, blending, and pumping of liquid product. To make this a complete enclosed system, different levels of automation are specified to meet the needs of the client and plant safety. This automatic valving and all associated hardware are controlled by the continuous batch treater control system that can be standalone or integrated into the plant control system. The control room or mobile platform allows for workers to safely monitor and treat seed on demand to fulfill customer orders. An important part of worker safety is applying and verifying the proper amount of chemical is applied to the seed to avoid coating errors and future rework which can introduce workers to exposure. To do this, proper pumping technology is designed to meter product into the batch treater. Time delivery pumps are the least accurate that can be used for products of lower value. For higher value products that require high accuracy, an electromagnetic flow meter for liquid volumes such as milliliters and or a Coriolis mass meter for weight such as grams integrated with the pump and control system should be used to apply the product accurately. For these system calibrations, a catch and weigh are important components of accuracy. A common practice to avoid worker exposure is a calibration cabinet, where product can be automatically captured, analyzed, and then adjusted to meet the injection needs. After product is tested, it is returned to the closed loop system. The last ingredients that may need to be added to the continuous batch treater is powders such as talc, mica, limestone, or other specialty powders, added for a touch of drying, flowability, appearance, or other customer needs. Dry ingredients can vary by bulk density, but all are extremely dusty and add to worker lung exposure. Traditionally, adding a powder to hoppers has been done manually by dumping bags, but a trend of bulk conveying systems is more standard. The bulk system can be either from tote sacks with a well-aspirated dust hood or from transfer of bulk tanks, 
Conveying of these powders to the applicator located on the continuous batch treater is done typically by mechanical conveying. Either closed loop systems, such as a round tube chain conveyor, screw augers, or in some case, pneumatic systems. All of these systems allow for a closed loop system for workplace safety. After the treating process, the seed can have remaining moisture that needs to be reduced to an acceptable level for further conveying and storage. In the past, systems have been used but have not been truly enclosed for worker safety, such as modified gravity tables or other systems modified from an existing processing equipment. For the best worker safety, an enclosed fluid bed dryer is used. The system contains multiple sections that can be used for drying with different temperatures as well as cooling sections to reduce the temperature prior to storage. The system is completely sealed for chemical dust and is designed with a positive system to push air through the product as well as a balanced negative system to pull air with contaminated dust particles away. A well-designed system will have appropriate temperature control systems that can be adjusted and integrated with the plant PLC system. During the batch treater process, unintended clumping of seed can occur and the process dryer has an integrated scalping screen that removes clumps and also fine dust that may have flaked off the coated seed. Helping avoid conveyor or packaging equipment plugging that may require worker interaction with the treated seed. For both treating and drying, automatic sampling is used to avoid the workers reaching into the product for sampling. The sampling is PLC controlled and product can be spouted to the quality control room. After the seed has been treated and dried to the specifications, the enclosed continuous cup elevator systems are used to move the product to holding bins prior to packaging or bulk tote boxes. With all of the above systems, it is important to design the facility with a dust system dedicated for chemical dust residue for the best working environment. From the continuous batch treater, pumping and mixing systems, drying, conveyors, and all transfer points that may generate treated seed dust to the final storage bins. In addition, separate air systems are used for fume removal from chemical rooms to provide better working environment for the operators. Makeup return air is designed in the system to turn the amount of fresh air in the room frequently. The last worker exposure point before the final warehouse and shipping is the packaging line. To eliminate worker exposure, automated filling, hanging, and bag closure systems provide the needed solution. Integrated into the filling system is an enclosed area with additional dust control tied back to the previously mentioned systems. An important part of the coder system that is not as well thought out is clean out when treating is complete and system maintenance. In an enclosed system, all the liquid pumps are reversed and all the lines are emptied into their appropriate storage tanks for future use. This takes place through the control system interface. At the end of the treating system or long shutdowns, the treating lines can be automatically flushed with water and then the water contained for reuse or disposal. For disposal options, there are traditional incinerator facilities where the liquid can be distilled on site to a powder form. A higher initial investment that limits worker exposure and risks associated with hauling. Formulations continue to change and can be challenging for buildup inside the continuous batch treater drum prior to drying. To help decrease this buildup and avoid operator exposure to the drum, several options have been developed to remove this task. One item is to scour the drum using junk or poor quality seed with a separate holding hopper above the treater. With this seed, we can exaggerate the amount of product in the drum and use it to scour off any buildup on the sidewalls. Through automated valves, this product is then discharged and taken to waste. Additional recent designs include an automated scraper system with carbide tip that can enter the drum through the sidewall of the unit and automatically scrape the buildup from the live bottom rotating cone. This design was developed in the industrial sector but also has merits for seed coating buildup. Assisting to reduce sidewall buildup is the integrated heating system. The outer jacket of the drum is designed with heating cables that can heat the sidewalls in a range from 100 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit to loosen chemical residue buildup. The higher temperatures are not used when treating seed to avoid germination damage and only during the cleanout phase. The washdown system is designed as the final cleanout. The water is injected into the top of the drum when not treating. After evacuation of the liquid, the water is piped separately to a dirty water system that can be utilized in mixing or disposed of via incineration or distillation. 
All these systems help purge the drum of chemical residue to make for a cleaner environment for preventive maintenance procedures. The final designed feature is for ease of maintenance access. After the unit has been cleaned with previous cleaning systems, we have designed a sliding scale that allows facility personnel safe and clean access to replaceable wear parts and mechanical parts. All of the above systems have been engineered and designed to absolutely minimize the amount of personnel in contact with the seed chemicals. While any remaining interaction is minimal, we encourage everyone to follow labeled instructions and follow PPE requirements. Please contact us for any questions or discussions about closed equipment systems from continuous batch treaters through the process to finish packaging, tagging, and labeling.